Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an SMT path in Allegro. So basically, if you are going to create a footprint or a land pattern of any component, you first need to create paths for it. Uh, one component may have one or more than one type of paths. But in this tutorial, we are going to create an SMT path. Uh, the component can be either an SMT or surface mount type, surface mount technology component, or it can be a through hole component. The through hole components typically have pins coming out like this, and SMT components will have a solder just on the surface of the PCB. So the pad for this com these such components will be only uh, will not have our uh, through holes so in this tutorial we are going to check the how to create the smt pad of a uh, of a surface mount component so in this example we are going to take a look at this component you will need to open the data sheet of the component and look at its mechanical dimension for example, in this our particular example, we need to create the SMT land pattern for this IC, which is a wind bond IC. Um, for it's 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 a wind bond uh, W25Q64BV, uh, and if you look at its figure, this is what it shows up and it has a lot of dimensions but the main uh, dimensions that we are interested in are these the width of each of the pins the pitch between the two pins which is 50 mil that's the most important data the width of the pin which is 17 mils here and the dimension the, the distance between the extreme of those pins and the inner dimensions and based upon that we need to extract the information of what would be the size of this pad. A pad will be slightly bigger than those pins so that it has enough solder to, uh, to allow the soldering of those pins. So if you can find it, the recommended dimensions of these pads, for example in this case, the width of this pin should be 24 mils and the length has to be 86 mils. So basically, we need to create an SMT pad with width 26 and length 86 mils. So how do we do that in Allegro? So the, the, there are two methods of it and the way I am doing is to, to open one of an existing pads in the library and then modify it to your needs we go to tools and then get to pad stack and then I open up pad stack modify library pad stack you can see more clearly here pad stack go to tools pad stack modify library pad stack and then uh, select one of the close the, the pad stacks that closely matches for example I arbitrarily take this 28 by 35 rectangle now the thing to look for is this the, in the parameter you have drill salt slot hole and its size is zero because it's a true it's not a through hole component if it's a through hole smt type through hole type of pad we will have a drill and the drill will have certain size but for now we just go to the layers and we don't need any thermal relief and all an anti pad We'll just keep it simple just the regular pad it will have a begin layer it's a rectangle and the size as we mentioned is 86 by 24 so we make it 24 by 86 and then it has a solder mask the solder mask is typically a little bigger than the pad itself for example if the pad size is 86 mils by 24 mils, the solder mass will be typically like 4 mils 
um, bigger than these. So, we assign the uh, solar, uh, solar mask on the top as 28 by 86 and then we optionally define the paste mask which is slightly smaller than the pad size. You can probably even uh, just leave it like uh, null that also will work fine, fine to begin with, but paste mask is used in the assembly process where you put a solder paste on the PCB to allow the component to solder. Now, it is kept slightly smaller because once it heats up, it spreads out on the pad. If you, if, you, if you keep it the same size or bigger size, it overflows and creates a chance of short. So, we typically keep the solar mask uh, slightly hmm, bigger, uh, smaller than the size of the pad, in this case say 20 mils by 82 mils. So, even if you uh, remove the paste mask top, do not define it anything, this should be fine because most of the manufacturers they automatically create their stencils based upon the pad information and they review each and every pad to make sure that it is of the right size. Once you do that, then th this step is very important, you want to save it as just do not do say otherwise it is going to overwrite it and I am saving it on the same path as my design file and give it a name that corresponds to the pad size. For example, in this case it is 24 by 84 rack. So, I will give it a name 28 by x uh, 24 x 86 rack that is it. So, this is uh, our way to uh, create, uh, create a pad stack and then uh, we, we can use uh, we can use this pad when we create the footprint for this component which we will cover in the next video.